हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑटोमोटो क्यूरियोसिटी आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज कृष्णा बाथम आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर बाय प्रोफेशन आई हैव प्लस 10 इयर्स ऑफ वर्किंग एक्सपीरियंस इन वेरी वेल नोन ओएमस लाइक टाटा मोटर्स एंड वी कमर्शियल व्हीकल्स इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑटोमोबाइल एंड इट्स सिस्टम्स वी टॉक्ड अबाउट वेरियस सिस्टम्स एंड कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल्स इन ब्रीफ you can also watch this video on the link given in description we know that all mechanical systems electrical systems and components of vehicle can be placed under below seven groups basic structure power plant transmission system auxiliaries controls the superstructure tools and miscellaneous components today we will be discussing about the first element of basic structure frame we will be covering following topics in this video what is frame in vehicle purpose or objective of frame in vehicle loads on the vehicle frame types of vehicle frames with examples let us understand what is frame in automobile or in vehicle the frame is the main part of chassis on which remaining parts of chassis are mounted it is also called underbody at some places the frame is supported on the wheels and tire assemblies the frame should be extremely rigid and strong so that it can withstand shocks twists stresses vibrations to which it is subjected while vehicle is moving on the road the frame is narrow in the front end for providing the short turning radius to front wheels it widens out at the rear side to provide larger space in body now let us look at various functions of frame in vehicle apart from supporting mechanical systems electrical systems components and body of vehicle objective of frame is to withstand below six types of loads various loads acting on the frames are short duration loads vertical loads when the vehicle comes across a bump or pit and road undulation inertia loads engine torque and braking torque these loads are also called inertia loads momentary duration loads loads due to road camber side wind cornering force centrifugal force while taking a turn static loads weight of different components like transmission engine passenger fuel tank seats exhaust acting at mounting points all these loads can be grouped as static loads impact loads sudden impact loads during a collision aerodynamic loads forces at considerable speed types of frames there are three types of frames conventional frame semi integral frame integral frame or unit frame conventional frame it is non load carrying frame the loads of vehicle are transferred to suspensions by frame the suspension in the main skeleton of vehicle is supported on axles through springs the body is made of flexible material like wood and isolated from frame by inserting rubber mountings in between the frame is made of channel section or tubular section of box section this types of frames is used in commercial vehicles like trucks and buses semi integral frame in some vehicles half frame is fixed in the front end on which engine gearbox and front suspension is mounted it has advantage when the vehicle is met with accident the front frame can be taken easily to replace the damaged chassis frame This type of frame is used in some of European and American cars. Integral frame or frameless construction. Integral frame or frameless construction in this type of construction there is no frame. It is also called unitized frame body construction. In this case the body shell and underbody are welded into single unit. The underbody is made of floor plates and channels and box sections. welded into single unit this assembly replaces the frame this decreases the overall weight compared to conventional separate frame and body construction majority of cars which you see in daily life have integral frame construction thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate your patience for staying with us till end of this video hope you may have liked this video please like subscribe and leave comment below in case if you have any question or any feedback we will see you in next video